Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Programming Video Tutorials Series. In the previous video tutorials, we understood Introduction to Microsoft Visual Studio. Then we understood Introduction to .NET Framework. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss how to create a new C Sharp project inside Microsoft Visual Studio IDE. I minimize the word. To create new C Sharp project inside Microsoft Visual Studio IDE, First, we should launch the Microsoft Visual Studio IDE guys. To launch the Microsoft Visual Studio IDE, I double click on Microsoft Visual Studio shortcut available on the desktop. You can see that Microsoft Visual Studio IDE is launched. To create a new project, we can click on new project text here. If I click on new project text, it launches the window with the name new project. I close it. To create a new project, we can also go to file menu say new, say project. You can see that it also launched the same window with the name new project. And then we select the language. I select here visual C sharp because we want to create a new C sharp project, right? Then I select the console application because for learning C sharp programming language, the starting point or the beginning point is creating the console application project guys. I select here console application. Next we should give the name for the project. I give the name here hello world. For the project name, we have given hello world. While creating the project, Visual Studio also creates a solution file. It also going to have the name hello world guys. And then we should select the location to save our project. Here I have selected projects folder which is available inside the Visual Studio 2010 folder and Visual Studio 2010 folder is already created within the my documents folder guys. And also you can see that Microsoft Visual Studio has by default checked create directory for solution. What is the meaning of this? We are telling to the Microsoft Visual Studio that create a folder for the solution file. What it does? It creates one folder for the solution file. It also creates one more folder for the project file guys. So we will be having the solution folder. Inside that we will be having the solution file as well as the project folder. Inside the project folder, we will be having the project file guys. Let me say OK. I just click on the OK button. Once we say OK, you can see that Hello World solution is open inside the solution explorer. Inside the Hello World solution, we have Hello World project. Inside the Hello World project, program.cs file is created. And the program.cs file is open here. Inside program.cs file, it has already written some code so that it makes our life easier guys. And remember that all C sharp files are going to have the file extension .cs. CS stands for C sharp. I right click on solution hello world say open folder in windows explorer. If I click on open folder in windows explorer, it takes me to the solution folder guys. You can see that we have visual studio 2010 folder inside that we have projects folder. Inside the projects folder, it has created a folder for the hello world solution guys. So this is a folder for hello world solution. I double click to open it. Inside that we have hello world solution file. We have hello world solution file. At any time, if we want to open this solution, we can just double click on it. It will get open inside the Microsoft Visual Studio IDE guys. Side by side, we have hello world folder for our hello world project. I double click on it. Here we have our hello world project file. We have hello world project file. Here we have program.cs file, right? The same program.cs file is available in this place. So our solution explorer is mapped to the hello world solution folder guys. Understanding? Here we have program.cs file. With that we have bin folder, obj folder and properties folder. The same properties folder is available here. Inside the properties folder we have assembly info.cs. The same assembly info.cs you find here. If I double click on the properties folder, you can see that there is a assembly info.cs file. I go back. We also have obj folder and bin folder. Inside the obj folder, Microsoft Visual Studio creates object files for our C sharp source files guys. Inside the bin folder, we have debug folder. Inside the debug folder, Microsoft Visual Studio creates the final output of our project. That is, it is going to create an executable file or exe file inside this folder guys. Let me go to Microsoft Visual Studio. Here in the main function, I say system dot 
console dot write line bracket bracket semicolon in double quotations i say hello world what this statement does it displays the given hello world in the console window guys if i say build and run you can see that the console window is visible and automatically it got closed right the console window got visible and automatically it got closed we have to stop that console window right to stop the console window we can say here system dot console dot either we can use read key or we can use read line guys i say here read key bracket bracket semicolon what this statement does it makes the console window to wait for the keyboard input guys i say build and run this time the console window is open and it has displayed hello world and it is waiting for the keyboard input guys if i hit enter now the console window gets close so we will be using this statement system dot console dot read key or we can use system dot console dot read line to make the console window wait for the keyboard input guys and system dot console dot wait line displays the given value inside the console window i say build and run so here we are getting the hello world who is displaying this hello world the hello world is displayed by this line of code guys understanding i hit enter the console window is closed so when i i told you that when we say build and run inside the debug folder the visual studio creates an executable file here we have the hello world application file it is an exe file guys if i double click on it you can see that we get the same console window right the hello world exe file is executed and it is displaying hello world and waiting for the keyboard input if i hit enter the console window gets closed understanding i hope you guys have clearly understood how do we create a new c sharp project inside microsoft visual studio ide and how do we build and run and how do we display some output to the console window and how do we make the console window wait for the keyboard input and where you find the final output of your project guys remember that the process of creating new project in different versions of different visual studio id will be different guys creating a new c sharp project in different versions of different visual studio id will be different but there will be no difference in the programming language so c sharp programming language will be same in all the ides so you need not to worry about the id understanding you just need to worry about learning the c sharp programming language understood i think for this video tutorial this much is enough friends I suggest you people to watch this video again and again understand everything clearly try to create yourself a new c sharp project in whatever version of ide you have installed in your computer in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss more about c sharp programming language for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like comment and share this videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much See you in the next tutorial.